happy to see you today. Okay, let's go ahead and do our welcome song. Are you ready? Okay, stand up. Let me hear you nice and loud. Here we go. Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lab today. Rise and shine and welcome to lab today. Rise and shine and welcome to lab today. We're so glad you're here. Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lab today. Rise and shine and welcome to lab today. Rise and shine and welcome to lab today. We're so glad you're here. Oh, we get to do space again. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Which galaxy do we live in? Do you remember? It's the name of a candy bar. The Milky Way Galaxy. That's right. The Milky Way. And do you remember we talked about there's a big cloud of dust and gas and it's where stars are born. What is that called? Do you remember? It's a big word. Say nebula. Nebula. So that's where stars are born, right? Do you remember what a star actually is? A star is actually a big ball of glowing gas, right? So it's just fiery, a fiery, fiery ball of glowing gas. What shape is a star? Is a shape, is it, is a star a triangle? Is a star a pentagon? No. Is a star a square? Is it shaped like a square? No. Is a star shaped like an oval? No. Is it shaped like a rectangle? Or a diamond? No. Is it shaped like a circle? Kind of. But remember the big word, the shape that we learned yesterday? It's called a sphere. A sphere. So it's actually round, all the way around. It's not flat like a circle. So everybody say sphere. A star is shaped like a sphere. And why do stars, when we look up at the night sky, why do they look so tiny? just a teeny tiny dot because they're so far away right hundreds and hundreds of miles away do you remember what the hottest color of star is is it red is it yellow or is it blue the hottest of all of them hmm we know a yellow one is hotter than red, but the hottest is blue. If you remember that, then pat yourself on the back. Good job. Yep, the hottest one is a blue star. And do you remember what is a, a, a group of stars that makes a picture? Do you remember what that name is? It's a big word. Say constellation. Constellation. Which constellation did we learn the story about last time? Do you remember the picture of the Big Dipper you could have colored? That was a constellation. So pictures in the sky made from stars, those are constellations. Okay, we're gonna sing our new Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song, okay? Are you ready? Sing with me. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I know what you really are. Giant ball of glowing gas. One of billions in a mass. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, how big you really are. 
twinkle, twinkle, giant star, larger than the earth by far, though your distance is a lot, you look like a tiny dot, twinkle, twinkle, giant star, very bright and very far. Good job. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time because it's so new and I'm doing it nice and slow so that we can remember the words. I have music that makes it, but we have to go a little faster. So I'm gonna do it one more time and without the music so that we can go slower. Are you ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I know what you really are. Giant ball of glowing gas, one of billions in a mass. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, oh how big you really are. Twinkle, twinkle, giant star, larger than the earth by far. Though you, since your distance is a lot, you look like a tiny dot. Twinkle, twinkle, giant star, very bright and very far. Good job! So they're really huge, aren't they? There is a star that we can see during the day. So stars are like this, huh? Big ball of glowing gas. And what's the one that we can see during the daytime? Did you know that the sun is a star? So the sun, this is what the sun really looks like. And most of the stars at night, they look so tiny, tiny, tiny. Why do you think that the sun looks so big that we can see it even during the daytime? It's because it's the closest star to us. So it's a star that's close to us and we are so grateful for this star. It's so close that we can even feel its heat, can't we? Do we feel hot sometimes when we go outside? And if we didn't have the sun, this star, so close to us, would we be warm? Would we, it, it would be super cold, right? If there was no sun, it would be so freezing cold all the time and there wouldn't be any light, we wouldn't have a daytime because it would be dark, it would be so dark. So it's really great that we're, the sun is super important to us. Where do you think the other stars go during the daytime? We see them at night, then where do they go? Did you know that they're still there? It's just that we can't see them because the sun's light is so bright that we can't see them anymore. Okay. Now today, you're gonna to get a chance to do this little sun coloring page, okay? But you're gonna make this sun, don't the flames kind of look like it could be the, the fur on a lion? We're gonna make this into Sunny the Lion. So you're gonna add a mouth and you're gonna add a nose, and you're gonna add eyes. So you're gonna look down here at this little lion, Sunny the lion, and you get to make a little nose, and you can make a little mouth, and you can also make eyes. And what else do they have? 
they have whiskers. So you get to make your own little Sunny the lion and color it, okay? And our new letter today is ol, ol, for lion, like Sunny the lion. So what are some things that start with ol? Lemon, lion, lips, llama, lamp, but all of them start with the O at the beginning, like lion. And this one is actually a really easy one to write, too. You start at your green line, and you do a tall down line, Ooh, stop at that red line, and slide across. That's our capital O. So if my name started with an O, like Larry or Linda, I would do a big capital one. And then the easiest one of our letters, a small O, it's just a tall down. Tall down, oop, and stop. If you go below, do you need to get frustrated? No, nope. we just stop right there, we just erase it and fix it. It's okay. It's just practice, right? So that's how you do your O. And you're going to have the chance to take your pencil and your tappers and do trace it, trace it, trace it, all the way across. And then you try it all by yourself. Trace it, trace it, trace it. And then you try it. Tall down, slide across. All the way across. And you can color the lion if you would like to too. So that is L-O-L. -L. Now, I wonder if we have all of our letters, we have an O, and now we have a We have a s and we've got a t, t. Let's look at these three pictures. I've got here a Saturn. We've got Saturn, I've got a table, and I've got a leopard. So I have three different pictures. Which one starts with which letter? Okay, the first one. Saturn. Does Saturn start with T? Or does Saturn start with S? Or does Saturn start with O? Hmm. Is it Laddern? No. Is it Tattern? No, it's Saturn. So Saturn starts with a S. Table, table. Does table start with a o, or does table start with a t? Is it a la label? <laughs> no, it's a t, t table, table. So it starts here. What about the leopard? It starts with o leopard. Leopard, S Saturn, T table, O, leopard. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's practice our golden sounds now. Ready? Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? T, 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 T. And can you air draw it in the air? 
two, so we can send two messages to our brain about what a t is. T, 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 t. And what's something that starts with table or t, like table or telescope? Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? O, 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 like lemon. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Like Saturn. Good. So those are our three sounds. Practice them one time with your mom today. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have an old picture today to circle the ones that start with old, like lemon, leopard. Check it out, check and see if they do. Flower, glasses, lion, bed, leaf, popcorn, ladybug, and envelope. So those are some cho some things to decide. Just circle the ones that start with O. And then this one's our rhyming one. Does fly rhyme with s? Does, does run rhyme with fly? No. Does run rhyme with sign? No. Does run rhyme with berry? No. Does run rhyme with gun? Yes, yeah, so you draw a line. Does sign I mean, fly run with rhyme with sign. No, does fly rhyme with berry? No, does fly rhyme with Mary? No, does fly rhyme with pie? Yes. So draw a line between fly and pie. Okay, and you keep doing it all by your. You're doing great. So those helps us to to know the the sounds of our letters. O and T. Hey, you're doing great. Love it. Okay, say I work hard. I work hard. I am awesome. I am awesome. See you next time.